everybody, and today we're here and I'm going to show you the old uh, pups that was back in uh, the late 90s, 1975, you know, trucks and all, um, so I'm going to show you guys the video, these are how the older pumps look like, and I think you guys remember this ladder, so yeah, alright, I'm going to show you guys.
training school, you know, has a lot of things. I think you guys seen this training school before. The training school is in the east, and you guys might have seen it, because I never, I never really been there before. But I really want to go to, you know, I want to talk to them about, you know, I want to talk to the people who teach, the, uh, who teach those guys how to, you know, handle the, the fire engines and, uh, and, uh, and the connect hoses. I really want to talk to the people who teach the firefighters. That's what I want to, like, you know, I want to talk to them, you know, how to, uh, you know, you This is my video. Yeah. Ruin its water apartment. Building collapse. Park 14. Yeah, this is mine. Yeah, um. So, if you guys like this video, subscribe, like, and views. And if you guys ever want to see any more, and, um. You know, just give me a comment and see about the old and 90s pumps. And, um, yeah. So, uh, I see you guys tomorrow. You guys might have seen them before. I know you guys might have seen them before. And, um, yeah, 31 has one. You guys might have saw this before, too. If you guys want to see it. All right, I'll show it to you. I'll just show this last video to you, and that's it. But that's a news video. I'm going to just show y'all this. Uh, engine 31, engine 31, Phoenician Isles, and that's that Phoenician Isles, it's still a part of New Orleans. Um, yeah, Katrina, Katrina wrecked the house and they were building. Well, it's good to have fire protection here, especially when we're not around. Steve Taroni lives in Michigan half of the year and has this house the other half of the year. Having the new state-of-the-art fire department down the street, the new fire it's, house. it's a lot better. The fact that it's built so high, you know, it uh, would stand the flood, I think. 
Yeah. Everything else probably would be underwater. Yeah. The new facility has 3.7 million dollars. The state of the art is resilient. It's the place of the old fire station. It was destroyed during the Katrina of 2005. To be operational you know. during the storm, the facility's living spaces will be on the second floor above flood elevation. Oh, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with the production of it. I'm glad it's up. I'm glad the neighborhoods get their fire department back. Nick Russell lives right next door to the facility. He is glad to see the progress. He says he's happy that there is fire protection to the neighborhood. But I love the ceiling fan that has broke because it can't support the glass ball. <laughs> Push it in there, and it wants to fall on the plane. Russell says construction caused damage to his home. He says he wants it fixed. Put columns under the house, the mortar's cracking out of them, floor separating. List goes on and on and on. Otherwise, a good addition for an area that has waited nearly 10 years for the improved firehouse. That's a new fire house, just like 39. 39 had a new fire house. But theirs got three doors. If you guys ever seen the new fire house in the east that was just built, engine 36, ladder 13, chief 504. If you guys did see the new fire house that was built on, um, on Reed, yeah. The new fire house was built on Reed. If you guys might have seen it, you know. You guys might have seen it. If you did, if you didn't, then I don't. If you didn't, it's all right. But but, but if you didn't, it's all right. But uh, if you guys did see it, you just give me a comment. Just give me a comment. You know, because I really, I really don't know how the house looks like. But I know, I know, I know, I know. They got some pictures of it. I only seen like you know inside of it and all that. But when I go outside, I really just want to see how the, how the house look like. You know. I never went in the East before, and I'm still trying to get on the West Bank, but I, I think I should go to the East first, because I try to get to a way how to get to the East. Uh, uh, the other day, I went to Jepson. Yeah, that's how I got to Jepson. I got an inventory. And uh, the other part is, the other part, I can just get to the East from, uh, I can just get from St. Bernard to the East. So, yeah, that's really how to do it, because, you know, yeah, so you see Engine 37, you know, see everybody, but, um, so I'll see you guys later, subscribers, likes, views, and if you want to see any more, I'll see you guys next time, Chief 507 out, see y'all.